Hey, this is Matt from InvestQuant. Today is Thursday, July 2nd, 2020. This morning, we had the non-farm payrolls report come out. The market popped on the report this morning, and we pushed a little bit higher after the open, but we have since started to drift lower and are consolidating in three of the four instruments below the opening print. We're still above yesterday's closing price, so we still have a positive session going on, but we're starting to trade underneath the opening print from this morning. So I thought I would look at that pattern here in Discover, uh, on non-farm payrolls report. So let me select all four instruments here. The setup is gonna be a time-based entry of 3 p.m. We will set it up as a long exiting at the close of regular trading hours. And what I wanna look at is what has happened historically when you are trading below the open at 3 p.m. Eastern time, but trading above the prior day close at uh, the prior day's close as of 3 p.m. Eastern time when it is on non-farm payrolls report day. So kind of that price action that we just looked at, uh, not currently happening in the NASDAQ, but it was happening in, in the other three instruments. So here we go. These are the results of going long at 3 p.m. Eastern time on non-farm payrolls report day, when you are trading below the opening print of that day, but above the prior day closing price. So you're still trading higher on the session, but you're getting some sort of weakness to keep you below the opening print as of 3 p.m. Historically, this has happened in the ES 20 times, 23 in the NASDAQ, 26 in the YM, 25 in the Russell, and very mixed results here. So ES right around 55%, NASDAQ, 39%, the weakest of the group, YM hanging just under 50%, and Russell the strongest at 64%. So very, very mixed results. Uh, and what's interesting about this is this pattern showing very mixed results, whereas if you just kind of look at the baseline of what has happened going into the close on non-farm payrolls report, it's generally a pretty bullish scenario. So this scenario, uh, adding in the intraday price action of what has happened, since the open into the close has not been uh, very attractive, but in general, that non-farm uh, payrolls report is pretty bullish uh, going into the close. So perhaps this is just a weaker scenario that is found uh, within that report day. So I hope you found that interesting. Uh, tomorrow is a market holiday, so there will be no daily IQ tomorrow. And Monday, I will be out of the office. So I will not have a daily IQ for you on Monday, but I'll be back at it on Tuesday and we will hit the ground running then. Have a great long weekend and I will see you next week.